But you just can take it. That, open. <laughs> that, 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 that one right open. And I always want me a tail about three foot long. And I'm going to leave that tail on it. When I get it put up, I'm going to have a tail left on it. Why would I want to leave a tail on it? Let me go ahead and tie this corner. Take the slack out. Okay. This is, this is the hardest part of it. Just try to hold this because you've got a wire behind you that's floppy. I'm going to take my foot. I'm going, hold, I'm going to hold pressure on it, and I'm going to wrap it right there. If you start wrapping it, don't get too close to that tail, we'll slap you hard. I'm going to wrap it five or six wraps, and I'm going to have my end wire. The reason I want this end wire, if you're putting up multi-strand wires, you've got to have some way to join them together, right? Leave your tail on here always. Because if you're putting up three or four or five strands, you can come here and attach that to your next wire up and just keep joining. You can put your jumper right there, put you another jumper right up here, and go up about four wires high with that strand. If you're coming around to a gate handle, you've got an end to come around to a gate handle. Cutoff switches. You can come to that cutoff switch. And you look at it and say, okay, I'm not doing anything there. I don't need that wire. What do you do? <laughs> I'm going to leave it on there. You put it right there. So six months down the road, I decided to put a fence this way. I got me a jumper going that way. It cost me eight cents to leave that wire on there. You know, you're not wasting it. You don't need it. And yeah. where would you put your cutoff at? When I, when I put my cutoff? Mm -hmm. Okay, if, if this was my, one of my branch, mm -hmm. if I was branching off, So this this was my main fence line right down through here. So this this is going to actually be a cross fence mm -hmm. coming off that main wire. I'm going to have a tail on this fence coming through here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my cutoff right here. I'm going to put this to the top of my cutoff. Okay. Come from this main line fence to the bottom of that cutoff. Okay. And all I got to do is turn it on and off, and it's hot. That's why you want to leave this, is it gives you the option of the cutoff switch, the gate handle, all kinds of different options to work on. Uh, I always want that three foot on there because if I, if I had to come back and splice it in, every time I splice, I'm losing voltage because I'm having to jump. This this is really not considered a splice because it's you're coming you're coming off this line. This is a solid wire coming off. You got the same wire. You know, you're having to you're having to put it together here, but if you had you know if you didn't have this, you got to have a splice here and a splice here. You cut your splices in half, basically leaving your tail on it. <coughs> Questions? All right, who was who was it won the last contest? Ruby. What? See what he paid attention was. <laughs> What was that? Let me tell you what. Oh, that was it looks hard to work died. with. It is hard to work with. But I can promise you all, you tough men. If Ruby can win a tie, tie, not tie contest, all the rest of you can tie knots. Is that right, Miss Ruby? Right. <laughs> I don't remember. She don't remember. She's stronger than she looks. I do But the secret to it is, is like it like learning, learning to tie that knot, leaving your leverage on there with that wire. Don't try to work with a little short piece of wire. Leave you enough leverage to work with. 